You're watching the weekly Wednesday What's Up. That was fast. Yeah, they just had it on the side or something. What is this? Kichimi? Chichimi? Chichimi. Chicken. Yori. Oh, Yori. Damn, she's already drunk. She only had a little bit of this fruity ass drink. Yeah, I don't like it. This one's better. The girls know that. Yes. What? Well, a good place to speak English? It's a big ass panda. You're watching the weekly Wednesday What's Up, the section on my channel where I'm telling you everything that's going on in my life in one week. Uh, I'm in Ueno right now, and I really shouldn't be here again. This is the third fucking time I've had to come to Ueno uh, because it's a small little thing that I just don't really do. It's change my address. I keep on trying to change my address, and I don't even know why I'm yeah, Ueno. Anyways, um, every time I come here, you guys might have to remember because I actually went back and I had to look at an old weekly Wednesday What's Up. Uh, from way back when just to see what the problem was the last time and I'm glad I checked but it had something to do with the fact that my license my gaijin card expired or something like that anyways I got to do all this bullshit again which is so annoying but whatever it's uh, such a waste of my time though I was gonna try to do it tomorrow but uh, that if there's a problem with what's going on, I don't want to have to get stuck again doing it. So it's a little annoying. And now it's kind of noisy. Look at all these schoolgirls. Oh, okay. Anyways, um, so the plan was originally, you guys probably have noticed that the channel <laughs> haven't really put up anything, little to anything uh, recently, other than the Wonder Woman post. It's been a few days. Uh, I mean, simply put, very easy to do reactions, but that's not what the channel was all about. Just dropping some sort of reactions. And, you know, quite honestly, once the TV shows finish, when I'm done with it, well, like when the CW shows go off or when Game of Thrones go off the air, I, I have less uh, interest to just do an average uh, sort of reaction or react to <clears throat> anything and everything that's kind of I wouldn't say it's run its course <clears throat> but it hasn't really been my interest in a long time to just find anything to react to and such but I do really enjoy the shows because it helps explores my creativity and such so without the shows it's a little uh, more hard to really get into the thick of things uh, just just start shooting editing you know the whole process uploading it gets a little tiring for me sometimes i like when i do react with other people i noticed that over the last year or so that's no problem because it's a it's fun again it becomes fun and it becomes less of a chore and such unfortunately well, we were going to have a reunion with the trinity uh tomorrow but unfortunately the plans changed and uh Cali and such, they're going to shoot off-site, uh, which they think is easy to do um, with whatever plans, but it doesn't work out for, like I, I, I inquired as to what exactly to do, where to go, and it, w it just wouldn't be anything 
you guys would be interested in uh, as far as I can think of. Like I, one of the things I do in terms of offshoot locations, I do actually want to take you guys to Skytree for the Shingeki no Kyojin exhibition thing that they have over there. Uh, but I need to wait till I get paid and then on top of that probably go with some people that would actually really enjoy it because I heard it's actually not worth it so the only reason I was gonna go was for you guys uh, but I heard it's not really worth it so much it's a bit expensive you know the cute little blonde girl um, strawberry mochi she went and so I was watching her video and she was like yeah kind of overrated and I, I figured it was gonna be as much but I did want to go at least for you guys to film it and such uh, so that's like the only really uh, the Marvel exhibition another one. I haven't gone to yet Those are the only two ones that I really want to go off-site for anytime soon because it's really hard to do a controlled Video for sound and for a bunch of people You need a cameraman. I mean, it's not overly complicated, but it's also kind of annoying if for me anyways if you don't really have a set plan in shooting location and exactly how to piece it together because otherwise I just got, get stuck with a bunch of random footage that I don't really know how to edit like for me personally I feel like that's the way a bit more proper way to do vlogging and such is to have like an idea of what you want to shoot and before you go out and shoot it and it's tiring not just random going to random places without knowing and I'd rather put some other videos out instead. I have a backlog of stuff to do. All right, let me get my stuff real quick. I'll talk to you in a second. Man, what the hell? Goodbye, Sky Tree, by the way. What the hell? Um, I can't believe I went all the way down there uh, for this expired paper. And they looked at it for one second. And they were like, nah, it's cool. You can still use it at the other city hall. Even though it specifically says it's invalid, I'm still pissed. <laughs> I just wasted. A lot of time, two hours, and a lot of money uh, to just come down here for something. I could have just gone near my, to my local city hall, and they would have accepted the paper. And I, part of me was complete. Part of me was saying so much to myself. I was like, "Fuck, man!" And the problem here, the bigger problem is, if I had called, if. It, I would have saved myself so much time, but the problem is I can't explain what the hell to do. So sometimes you have to just do it physically all the time. What a waste of time. God damn it, guys. Uh, anything else I want to add? Maybe Wonder Woman? We can talk about that briefly. Um, it was quite interesting. It's interesting when the difference I've noticed is when you get so involved in just being offline by yourself or reading online comments, the difference between that versus physical interaction and like talking with people, literally talking with people over the, um, over the internet, but you're still talking with them, it really can help change your opinion or understand other people's thought process and what have you not, because uh, for Wonder Woman, which was interesting for me, I noticed that a lot of people were either overhyping it or uh, saying it was overrated or whatever. A uh, few, most members of the Red Dreaded Nation were kind of like myself. That was saying it was good, wasn't great, a bit overrated um, in terms of the with the rating state and such. But uh, you know, it was interesting. Then after that, I had a conversation with a bunch of fellow reactors and reviewers uh, who uh, really enjoyed it. They enjoyed the movie a lot, but they also saw the flaws. But it's kind of interesting for them, uh, for me is the fact that they focus so much on, I think, the positives. Uh, and I notice this uh, because everybody is really going, like, for example, let's uh, take the No Man's Land scene. Uh, everybody kind of refers to that one, uh, the No Man's Land scene, as, like, the great, the big thing, the part that's really good. And it, it's fun, but it's funny for, to me because I'm like, well, everybody's saying that it doesn't make it any less true that it, it is true uh, that you know a lot of people it really enjoy that scene but it's just I, I think it's kind of interesting for me when it finally got time to myself in the group chat I'm like yeah okay well everybody's kind of said it that was it um, but then I had to pick out the uh, critiques of it where I felt like the 
soundtrack was not that as good as it should have been for that particular scene. But they can't all be Hans Zimmer. But I saw people uh, agreeing with me and such. So, yeah, it is what it is. I don't know. I'm looking forward to when Wonder Woman actually comes out in Japan so I can actually watch it properly as I should because uh, I have been thinking about it as uh, as uh, blessed as I am or as, as happy as I am to be able to actually watch a lot of these movies on base I also feel like if the story isn't really good enough if the story really is average or just kind of runs flat that uh, it's really easy not to really be caught up in the movie basically for this particular theater that I go just imagine like a imagine a high school auditorium I suppose that's the way it is imagine a high school auditorium with a big screen that's the way I'm watching the movie so the sound isn't that great and the picture quality is you know still better than watching it bootlegged but you know it uh it changes your perspective, I believe. And so that's why I uh, have reserved my judgment fully on this movie until I can see it in like IMAX 3D or something like that. Like, cause I can imagine IMAX 3D. I watched Guardians of the Galaxy that way. One of the best movies I've ever seen in IMAX 3D. Now if uh, Guardians didn't come out on time in Japan and I watched it, the screening at the base, I probably wouldn't have liked the movie as much as much uh so i don't know it's something i need to think about because the next big one for this year will probably be spider-man homecoming and a little worried about that a little worried about watching it as is on a regular sort of auditorium type screen and seeing if it's going to be you know it might be under underwhelming and i feel bad because you know, I haven't really seen, well, besides Spider-Man 3, most of the Spider-Man movies, I've always enjoyed them. So I'm a little worried about that. Anyways, guys, like, share, subscribe. I gotta get back on this train. Go right the fuck back home to my home city. <sighs> Japanese paperwork. I will let you guys know what's up next week. Peace. Here we go again. They closed at five o'clock. Gotta come back and do it again. Maybe tomorrow. Fuck. Japan life. <laughs>